hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how i put together a mermaid easter basket isn't this a pretty basket it's like shiny iridescent and it's like a material it's soft it's not plastic and so i'm going to put some tissue i mean some paper um, newspaper at the bottom and since it's material you have to make sure that you stuffing it with enough so that it can have a strong foundation so it can be solid and not wobbling all over the place and so I'm going to stuff it some more and that's just newspaper burled up with the tissue on top and we're going to see if this is enough stuffing, because it may or may not be. And I think I'm going to go with a little more. My grandmother is so sweet. She gives me this newspaper that I don't have to go out and buy newspaper to stuff with. Well, at least my cell phone is recording because it's acting like garbage. My cell phone is going crazy and it won't let me do nothing. Couldn't listen to my Pandora or nothing. Now, I know that looks like a lot, but trust me, it needs it. When it's, um, it's not plastic and it's not solid. You have to make the foundation strong. And if you don't, you're gonna have a wobbly mess. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is put my notebook in the back. And I want it to sit nice and high. I still may not have enough newspaper in here, but we are gonna see in a minute if we put it up. So that's my book that I put in the back as my backer. And then we're going to put our peeps next. See what I meant? It's falling all over the place. That's why we stuff so much at the bottom. To give it a strong foundation. And I want, this is my Barbie doll that I'm going to use. For my baby doll, she's a mermaid. Isn't she pretty? Um, I think I'm gonna give her, give this baby some Tootsie Rolls. And we're gonna put that like that. You see? I'm trying to think, what can I put in here next? Since this is scaly, it's a soap, and it has the scales on it, I'm going to put that in here, right there in the middle. And everything is sitting beautifully. I love how everything is sitting nice and high up. I want my Barbie right in the front of the basket because I want her to be very visible. So I'm sticking her right in the front. And I'm going to fill up the back. Now, I'm thinking, what else can I use as a filler? I think I'm going to give this baby a cookie. Or we can also do a jump rope. Isn't this cute? I have a jump rope here. I'm going to put that jump rope right here. And then I have um, a box of candy that I'm going to put. A little box of candy that I'm going to put right here. Like that. And I have a cookie. Easter cookie. Isn't this a pretty cookie? 
And all of these items did come from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I want my baby doll right in the front. Now what, um, and then I'm gonna put some orange Play-Doh in the front. Y'all think I put too much? And what's the basket without an egg? And yes, I already have my candy here in the egg. I can put that egg right in there, like that. And I'm going to give her a marshmallow, a chocolate covered marshmallow candy. Put that in there, like that. And I think she needs an ink pen. This is a mermaid ink pen. This is how we're looking so far. And let's see. I'm gonna put some taffy in here as well. But before I put my taffy, we need a little grass. So I'm just gonna take this pink grass and stick it around the front. What's Easter without the grass? We gotta have some grass. Just kinda use my finger and Set that just like that. And I'm just going to go around and do that around the basket. And I'm going to put some grass around all the edges. I just ball it up and I use my scissors to just push it down. And I think that's sitting very pretty. And I'm going to put some more candy in there. It's Easter time to sprout the kiddos. And they need candy. Well, let's say they want candy. Easter should be fun. Oh, look at that cute little grass poking out. You see how I did that? On all sides. And you see how um, I have a really good foundation because I stuffed all that paper. It's nice and strong and it's tight. If you don't put enough paper in a basket that's not already strong, like this is fabric. This is some type of fabric. And it's shiny and pretty and iridescent. But if you don't stuff it well enough, you're not. it's not going to stand. So now I'm going to add some taffy. I have this taffy candy. And I'm going to add these somewhere. I have packed this basket so tight. I don't know where I can possibly stuff this. But I think I found a little nook that I can stuff right there. But I still want my egg visible. Well, there. You can still see that green egg. You see that pink? And then you got the little candies peeking. But I'm going to put the pink one like that. 
Now, is that enough, or do you think I should do more candy? Well, it's packed to the gills. I don't see an inch where I could stick anything else. I mean, this basket is full. So, this is our basket. This is my mermaid Easter basket. And I think it's beautiful. I'm so excited. I can't wait for Easter. So I think this came out really, really pretty. I know I would love to have this basket. I feel like busting this putty, um, this Play-Doh open and smelling it. It's orange flavor. I mean, orange scent. And so I need to start working on my next basket. So y'all stay tuned because I still have plenty of good baskets to go. I'm showing you all my designs. And I really hope that you like this video. If you learn something or if you, if you enjoy my videos, you know what to do. I want you to like, share, and subscribe. That helps the YouTube algorithm. And it keeps me going. It keeps me going. Okay, so I will see y'all in the next video. Until next time, y'all stay blessed. Later.